Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. All right, President Laura is off on this Monday. And it's spent a few moments with the Bristol Community College's director of the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center, Denny Cosmo, is going to join us on this Monday morning. Denny, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's great, great to uh, another beautiful Monday. Yep, great to have you along. A little chilly, but not too bad. We'll take it. It's, uh, <laughs> it is November, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so let's uh, spend a couple of moments to uh, talk about some of the opportunities and resources available to Bristol's uh, student veterans. Yeah. So we here at the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center serve as a central location for all student services and grant-related veteran activities while providing a sense of community among the college student veterans. We provide a lot of resources not only for the bridging the VA for the veterans and the active duty and uh, reservists, but also their family members. So there's a lot of scholarships available and just, again, building a sense of community on campus for military-connected students. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a that's certainly reaching out to a, in a kind of an extended family. That's good. It works out. Yeah, it works out really well and uh, and provides uh, provides great opportunities. Uh, speaking of opportunities, let's talk about some of the recent initiatives at the at the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center. Yeah. So we have a great team of student veterans this semester and our VA work study program. So they can earn additional income providing programs for uh, student veterans to build that culture. Um, this October, they went to the, the Student Veterans of America Leadership Institute. Not only was it the first cohort of Bristol veterans to go to Washington, D.C. for this uh, three-day values-based, authentic, genuine leadership institute, but it was the largest cohort of any IHL in, in America to send six students from one school to this uh, kind of really selective conference. And that's a, that's a huge feather in the cap for Southern New England and Bristol Community College. Wow, six to that, that is something. And, uh, but did, you, did you go on with the, with the six, uh, Denny? No, no. I, I, um, we trust them. They, went, they represented the college with a, like a lot of integrity and a lot of respect and, and is kind of an opportunity for them to spread their wings and, and show how they can – export their Bristol Community College culture to other four-year schools and other community colleges. So, so I, I stayed back, but they Good. had an absolutely amazing time in D.C. Yeah, so did you get any uh, any feedback? Uh, any, uh, did they bring back any uh, any impressions? Yeah, it was, it was very impactful, like, because it's, we often get in our daily tracks of going to class or going to work, and we don't have these deep, meaningful conversations. And they had a lot of really honest, open, vulnerable conversations with other student veterans that shared similar histories, similar backgrounds, and similar experiences. And when you have that opportunity in that kind of environment with that sense of trust to be vulnerable and have those kind of conversations, it leaves like a really impactful uh, experience that you want to, that, that has a lot of meaning and value. So people brought that back to Fall River and they're just super motivated, really enthusiastic, and they want to grow the culture even more. Well, that was great. Uh, talk about talk about a really uh, important uh, benefit and uh, an opportunity for those uh, those folks who went out to to Washington. That's great. What a great idea! How did, how did this all happen anyway? How did this come about? So our, our national organization, Student Veterans of America, it's got over fourteen hundred uh, chapters on college campuses across the U.S. Uh, we have an active and robust SCA chapter and great student leaders that are running it. Um, they, it, it comes along every kind of fall, and it's it's one of those events that I put it out to all the military connected students, and I really encourage them to apply for. And those that do really understand the meaning and the value proposition and the impact that it has not only on their their own personal lives, but the the level of impact that they can have in their communities and, and leveraging their military experience as a, as a real asset in their civilian careers 
in their academic pursuits and just life after the military. Yeah, boy, how good is that? Uh, Denny Cosmo. Denny, uh, what's the best way for folks to get maybe more information on what you offer? Uh, go to, just go to the website. Is that the best way to do it? Yeah, you can go to www.bristolcc.edu backslash veterans. Uh, you can call us at 774-357-2227. We're also on social media um, at bristolcc. Uh, at Bristol CC Veterans Center. So we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Excellent. All right. Great stuff. That's for sure. Danny, thank you very much. Danny Cosmo, uh, he's the uh, Bristol Community College's director of the Joseph A. Marshall Veterans Center. A uh, good friend of mine, Joe Marshall. So it, it was uh, kind of <laughs> neat that they had to name the, senator, uh, the uh, center after him. That was kind of cool. And uh, so I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure he's proud of that. I know he served in, if I'm not mistaken, the Vietnam War. As I recall. Yeah. He actually, uh, we had a veterans town hall uh, in October as well. And, and Mr. Marshall came up and, and spoke and shared his experience about being in the Air Force in Vietnam. All right. Danny, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You have a great week and, uh, and, a, and a happy Veterans Day to you as well. You too. Thank yeah. you so All much. Right. Take care.